So with these other badly broken down teeth, we're gonna take out the cuspid next. Oftentimes, it's very, very helpful to flatten the lingual surface of the tooth that you're going to extract. The beak, as we've demonstrated, the beak is flat. You can see that pretty clearly on that view. So teeth are often uh, elliptical in shape or, or concave in shape, convex in shape. And not often, but sometimes it'll slip off. So what I'll often do is just take a, a surgical burr, a, a diamond, whatever you want, and flatten the lingual surface of the tooth, subgingival, maybe two or three millimeters, four millimeters, just to give us a purchase point of where we want things to be. So here I'm just taking a surgical burr, a carbide 557 surgical burr, and I'm going to come up and if you retract the tongue a little bit. Come back here on the lingual and I'm just going to remove, just flatten that surface a little bit. And sometimes that just makes our job a little bit easier. So we're coming back to the cuspid tooth, engaging the lingual surface of the tooth with the beak and engaging, chin up for me please, chin up a little bit more, and putting the bumper on the facial vestibule area down by the mucogingival junction. And chin up for me a little bit. and simply rotating my wrist, rotating my wrist slowly. And it may take a minute or two. And just rot you just have to take your time. It's not a typical forcep that you're using force with. It is very atypical and you're using leverage to remove the tooth. So taking a minute or two for a dentist is oftentimes very difficult, but if you take your time, we don't break any buckle bone or facial bone, and the teeth will come out really nice. Preserving these sockets is critical for implant dentistry. Our patients are often just amazed how simple these extractions go. I've been practicing for a long time and I can't tell you how many times I've heard of the patient tell me that the doctor put their knee on, the, on their chest, but I've never seen that. But those days are gone. Again, I'm just using two fingers, or a finger and a thumb, really. And if you could lift your chin up for me. Now I can feel it giving a little bit, so this is a real good close-up shot. Remember this is a cuspid tooth, long root, very, very decayed, and pop. Wow, amazing. That's a long-rooted tooth that was very badly decayed. very very badly broken down trying to engage that lingual plate lingual portion of the tooth and rotating my wrist wrist no arm pressure on a cuspid tooth this would be very very difficult extraction using conventional techniques but you have to take your time a minute or two is a long time for us dentists. Did you see that? That just popped right out. Wow. 
Now that is truly magic.